Hello Freunde and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to today's video. In today's video we are heading outside into our garden and yeah, terrace and it was really time to get this place back in order. Spring is already here and I would really love to enjoy this place when we have sunny weather. Of course there was always rain between these sunny uh, days in spring in Germany but still yeah, I wanted to get this place in order so we could spend some time outside. I wanted to rearrange this entire outside space. I wasn't liking the layout of it and it wasn't very functional. Um, so I decided I'm going to rearrange everything. You can see this garden bed. This is a little clip from before. I did move this garden bed and cut it in half. So I built this garden bed last year. And so it was the first year and I realized it was at the wrong spot. I did build it out of old scrap wood pieces. We had nothing really was growing there. I think because there wasn't enough sun where it used to be. So I cut it in half because I also think it was too big. And um, I placed it onto this wall because this wall does get a lot of sunlight. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'm crossing my fingers this year. We will have some nice vegetables or fruit I'm not even sure what we are going to plant in here. I know it's very small I know we cannot plant a lot of things in here, but let's try it before I decide to go bigger Anyway, we don't have the space to go bigger. So <laughs> it is what it is and I think it's just a nice experience for the kids and for me to see how um, food grows and and the kids they just enjoy coming outside and grabbing some little paprika bell peppers I think they're called yeah bell peppers or something like that we will see whenever I start to um, plant things in here I'm going to take you along and I'm going to show you what we are doing in here so yeah so I needed to take out all the soil and um, if you know anything about a garden bed you have different parts of soil so at the bottom um, you have like bigger pieces and wood scrap wood pieces and things like that and then you have three different parts of soil so I needed to take all the soil out and put it back into this one in the same order. So this was filmed on a Sunday and my oldest daughter, she was at a birthday party all day. Well, yeah, nearly all day until the afternoon from morning till afternoon. And my youngest daughter was um, at home, of course, and my husband. And for those of you who have kids, small kids, it's not very easy to work um, if you have small kids around. And I don't film my kids. Um, I don't show my kids on any social media platform. So um, most of the time I prefer to film a video whenever um, I'm alone at home. But I wanted to get this job done. This was a nice Sunday. Um, the sun was, it was getting warmer during the day. This was filmed in the morning. And after a while, my husband decided he's going to take our youngest out to the playground and they would spend some time together outside. I was very grateful for that. So I could just get this job done without anybody jumping in front of the camera and I needed to stop, <laughs> needed to stop filming. As you can see, the floor is pretty dirty and it's also slippy uh, during the winter. Um, it gets, uh, how do you call it? Um, yeah, I don't know the English word right now, um, but uh, maybe you know what I mean. So let me know down in the comments. And I really need to pressure washer this floor. This is another task I need to do and um, I did not get to do it until now. But uh, yeah, when there will be a nice weather outside and my kids are back in school and kindergarten because right now we are still on um, Easter break. But when this video is live, my kids are back in school and kindergarten. So I hopefully can find some time to um, clean this floor pretty well. 
I really enjoy watching people uh, pressure wash or anything. I think it's so satisfying. Let me know in the comments if you think the same. And I can't wait um, to pressure washer this floor very soon. So how was your Easter break? I know it's already uh, been a while and um, but still I would really love to know how your Easter break was. Did you stay at home? Did you went to see friends or families or did you went on a little vacation? Yeah, if you like you can share that down in the comments with me. Um, we did we did go and visit friends and family. They do live a few hours away from us so we decided we are going to spend some time with friends and family during the Easter holiday during during the Easter break and my mother-in-law she gave me her sourdough starter so not hers but she made a sourdough starter especially for me and yeah I'm really excited about that I even already um, baked one bread and it tastes good I'm really excited about that. I always wanted to have sourdough, but I was always um, not scared, but I always avoided the process of starting a sourdough. So I'm happy that she gave me one of hers. So I just need to feed it. And um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. So maybe in the future, I'm going to show you how I uh, feed my sourdough and how I um, make my own bread. If you like to see that, um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know down in the comments if you have any sourdough in your fridge. And now I'm starting to um, moving all the pots around I have in our uh, outside space. And I decided I don't like to have too many pots sitting around. And that's why I got rid of some things. Um, so these two pots and these two pots are roses. Um, I placed them just next to this garden bed. And yeah, there is even one pot empty. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to put anything in it. But you will see in the end that there is still one pot left. And now I'm trying... Um, to place these these are little garden beds and um, but they're already nearly falling apart um, so I don't know how many years or how long I can keep them maybe I need to repair them I don't know um, for now I'm just placing them them somewhere and moving on to the rest I try to um, free up their entire space as much as I can so I really enjoy having uh, outside space. I know this is pretty small for some people, but of course for some people uh, maybe they live in a flat so they only have a balcony and I'm really grateful for this space. And actually we used to live in a different house with a huge garden and it was so much work to keep it uh, nice. Actually, I'm happy about this outside space it's big enough to sit outside and enjoy the sun and the weather and the kids can play outside they can have like a little pool and they can have some yeah place to play um but on the other hand it's small enough or yeah small enough for me to keep it nice easy and i'm really happy about that um so like i said we used to have a huge garden with lots of space and but it was a lot of work because it was we used to live in a old house we remodeled an old house and then we moved back to a different city and um, this garden was pretty old so there was a lot of weeds and things that just keep growing back and it was really really difficult to keep it nice um yeah so i'm grateful for this outside space and i really love making this my little oasis so our olive tree yeah it was still packed <laughs> for the winter because it gets too cold in germany so i need to uh, pack it up so it's not going to freeze uh, one winter um uh, i I forgot or I was too lazy to pack it up and this olive tree lost all of the leaves. I was so sad and I was so mad at myself um, because this was a wedding gift and I really love this olive tree. 
So I'm really um, taking good care of it now. And you can see it's still um, not as full as it could be. So I'm hoping during the years, I think it's now three years ago and I, or two years ago. And I'm hoping it's going to grow more leaves each year. So what I like to do during uh, a cleanup, um, doesn't matter if it's inside or outside, if it's a huge cleanup like this, I like to go section by section. So I move this olive tree and now I'm picking up all the leaves before I move on to the next task. And the next task is going to be um, yeah, freeing up this area. Um, I have this part and in the summer, so these are flowers and in the summer they get really nice and big but during the winter this looks so sad so I decided I'm going to take out these these flowers and I'm putting them into the um, garden bed how you call it so just behind me I'm going to plant them there and I'm going to put like something bigger in here maybe another tree I'm not sure right now that maybe also looks quite nice during the winter and uh, because I only had these flowers in here I decided I I did not want to fill it up I did not want to fill this entire pot up with soil so I put it some um, how do you call it some uh, I don't know the word you just saw the black thing uh, bins I don't know just put that bucket bucket yeah it's a bucket <laughs> just placed these buckets underneath and fill the rest up with soil so now we're moving on to this garden bed yeah it's a garden bed right and um yeah i needed to remove all many many plants we do have uh snails no not snail snake snake is it a snake <laughs> i always um mix that up i think it's a snake right let me look it up so of course we have snails not a snake <laughs> we have many snails in here and they eat up my entire plants i'm really angry about that i don't know what to do um yeah and then i was planting uh these their thyme thyme i think tumion yeah thyme and lavender and they should keep the snails away but then we have other little animals um, on these plants and they kill these plants and I was sick of it it looked it, they did not look nice so I ripped out all the plants and I re I need to rethink this garden bed I would love to have a really nice and full garden bed but yeah animals keep eating all of my plants and destroying all of my nice plants plants so i'm really sad about that i need to rethink it this year um yeah maybe you have any good ideas for anything that you know is working i know that there are a few things you can do um, to keep the snails away and i'm going to try all of these things this year because they're really um yeah they really bother me um but let me know down in the comments if there is an ultimate a thing I can do to keep these things away from my nice flowers and plants. So if you are new to this channel, I wanted to say hi to you. Um, my name is Nasrin and together with my two girls and my husband, we live in Germany and we do have a little dog. She's called Daisy. Maybe you've already seen her in today's video. And yeah, I do like to create um, get it all done videos with me. So cleaning, decluttering and organizing and just getting stuff around the house done that um, everybody needs to get done. And I'm hoping these videos give you lots of motivation. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video so far and if you are new here, um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have already been here for a while, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate all of you. I do recognize many, many people down in the comments. I do read all of the comments and I do um, respond to all of the comments. So yeah, whenever you like, leave a comment down below. I really appreciate that. 
And please let me know down in the comments if you prefer me talking more or if you like to listen to music. I get the feeling that most of the people prefer um, voiceovers than just playing some random music. It's also very hard to find the right music for everybody. I mean, it's not very hard. It's impossible. I can't play music that everybody enjoys. So I need to find a balance. And maybe the solution is not playing any music. <laughs> If you like that, let me know down in the comments. Of course, it's more time consuming for me to um, record like a 45 minute voiceover. But if you prefer me talking the whole time, I'm happy to do it as much as I can. So please let me know down in the comments if you prefer this type of video. I can't promise you I'm only going to um, do voiceovers because there probably will be times where I don't have the time for it. But I promise you I will try to uh, create the, the kind of videos you like to watch. So you can see in the back there this big planter. It's um, metal and the previous Uh, people who lived here, they left these for us. They are actually sitting in front of our house. But uh, honestly, I don't like them. We had um, big trees in there and they all um, uh, died during last summer. I think that there are also animals, uh, bugs um, in the soil that killed or that, um, yeah, that killed these uh, plants these trees so we had to remove them and i realized i prefer i prefer the front of our house without these planters so i'm really thinking about selling these and doing something different there because they're not really my kind of style um so yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking about Okie dokie, I cleaned up their entire flora, I uh, moved everything, I cleaned it and now it's time to rearrange this outside space and I'm creating three different areas. So this area is just next to the, our kitchen and it makes much more sense to put our outside dining table over here. Um, so we can just go in and out the kitchen if we need to grab anything else and it's much easier um, and it's much it just makes much more sense so i decided to put the dining table over here and we are um, you then there is a little sitting sitting area with our rocking chairs and then the third area is um, with these um, garden beds how do you call these Yeah, these things you can see just right now, these garden beds, um, I'm putting uh, at a different spot in our place. Yeah, and because this uh, outside area is pretty um, narrow and small, I need to work smart. And so, yeah, <laughs> um, it's difficult to just place it wherever you want it. I need to move these garden beds and then I need to move the dining table and then I was able to move these garden beds over here and after I move this table I need to clean this area again like I said um, I work uh, section by section so uh, I move this and now I clean it and then I can put the garden beds over here this area gets sun in the morning and also a little bit in the morning and also a little bit in the afternoon and I think it's a nice place so if you want to if you want to catch some sun in the morning you can come outside and just um, lay on here or if you want to catch some sun in the afternoon as well um. and this is nearly the end of day one there will be day two just uh, in a bit so stay tuned this video is not done and let me know if you prefer longer or shorter videos please but um yeah my husband and my daughter uh, just in a second they are back from their um playground trip oh, there she is and i quickly wanted to rearrange this area and then spend some time with my family 
and here I'm not sure how I want to place everything. I first my first thought was to put this big pot in the middle of these both um, garden beds, but then uh, I realized it's not going to work, and I set it to the side. Now I'm quickly cleaning up the rest of this garden, and here's my husband, and I think he's saying I really like uh, the way it turned out. It makes lots much more sense oh yeah and and i needed him to move this um big pot and uh honestly it's not going to stay there <laughs> um, some things changed after i filmed this video we lifted with it and i'm going to show it to you if you like but uh it's not going to be in this video i think yeah some things already changed again and this is just how I work, how my brain works, how I am. First of all, I really enjoy rearranging areas. I really enjoy creating new spaces. I have many ideas in my head. And um, I think it's even um, good because you, because you make your space look different and new for yourself without spending any money. Of course, you need to shop your own house. What I like to do and of course from time to time um, there will be uh, a little thing I would like to buy new to make the space even better and more functional but I try my best to just use what I have and make it work and when I see myself putting this table right there um, you see it really needs to be um, painted again I need to go and buy the paint I did go and buy um, some paint but I think it's the wrong color and now I'm unsure if I should just use it uh, or if I just go and see if I can match the color and find a better one okay guys just in a bit I'm going to show you some before and afters of day one and I'm going to play some music and when day two starts I will be back for you guys Okay, we are on day two of this outdoor cleaning, decluttering and rearranging uh, video. And now we are moving on to the other side of our outdoor space. And here we keep all of our stuff like bikes and yeah, anything like that. And uh, I also wanted to uh, rearrange this play area for my girls. This is a play kitchen, outdoor play kitchen we built ourselves. Um, girls really enjoy it, but I want to make the space a lot nicer for them. But before we do that, we are going to start here in the back where we keep all of our stuff we need for outdoors. And, and there are a lot of things that just don't belong here and I need to place them somewhere else or even declutter them. In this video, I been shoving a lot of things into our outdoor shed and it's quite okay in there it's not too too bad but um, in the future I need to go back in there and reorganize everything in there as well and probably declutter some stuff again I did a major decluttering um, video last year I need to revisit that space and I need to declutter more or maybe I can declutter more and um, 
I also want to take everything out. There are shelves inside and cupboards and I want to clean it very well and yeah, move the shelves a little bit around because I don't think it's practical the way they are in there right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm taking a lot of things out of here, of this area. This li little cabinet you've seen just before, uh, I want to refinish that and I'm going to place that in my um, downstairs guest bathroom. And I hope I get to it very soon because I want to reorganize my entryway and also the kids craft drawers again. I know if you've been here for a while, you see me decluttering and organizing these areas many times. But um, yeah, I'm sick of it. It's just not working the way they are. And I'm hoping that this time, if I reorganize everything and if I rethink it, it's working better for our family. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell um, because I'm planning on doing all of these things in my next videos. So if you subscribe, you are not going to miss that. So in this corner, I keep all of my wood scrap pieces. Um, yeah, I do like to uh, build things and I would I just want to keep these things until I know I'm not going to need them anymore. Uh, like I said in at the beginning of day two, we built this um, outdoor play kitchen for my girls and um, they have this little um, playhouse outside and maybe I would like to build um, a little shelf or something like that for the the house for the play house outside and that's why I'm still keeping all of these things until I'm very sure I don't need them and then I'm going to um, get rid of them and these two um, cupboards you can call them they're actually for our um, trash bins but I think they're not very functional um, because you need to open the top of it the, so you can open the top and throw your uh, garbage into your trash bins but as you can see I'm short and it would be much more difficult for me to open the top and throw my garbage in there and when I open the door I can't open the top of my garbage bin so yeah I think they are a lot more functional for us to use as storage and I keep like the sleds in there for winter and um, scooter and my husband's um, you will see just in a bit I'm going to put uh, my husband's skateboards in there and that way they're out, out of sight and whenever we need them um, we can easily open the doors and grab them. Yeah now I'm uh, cleaning off the top of these uh, cupboards and and I have this bad habit to just throw things on top of here uh, whenever I need to bring anything outside. Especially in the winter and colder times. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be out for long. And I, yeah, I just throw them on top and from time to time I need to declutter all of it. Now we're, uh, I'm moving on to the second cupboard. And then here are also some scrap wood pieces I'm taking out. And I'm cleaning it as well and these um, other wood things in the back you can see right now they belong to the house we are renting this house so I'm not touching these I'm just leaving them in there and I'm just putting some of our stuff next to it
And now we are at the play area, outdoor play area and um, for my kids. And I had this idea to put down some artificial grass on top of this mud so it's not that dirty and the girls can walk on it without any shoes and they don't get muddy and grimy feet. So yeah, I'm trying to even out this little area. I'm also putting some rocks, some little stones underneath and then I'm placing some artificial grass on top and yeah, until now it's working very well. It's working fine. The girls love it, especially my three-year-old. She enjoys playing here. And in the future, I have more plans on making this house even nicer. Maybe putting like a little carpet inside or something like that. Because until now it's empty and we just actually, I'm just storing uh, stuff in there and it's not really, and it's not very inviting to play in um, like in the winter we are not out that much so I've just been shoving all of her toys outdoor toys in there and it's time to get it nice so the girls can actually use it and here you see me uh, putting down their artificial grass I bought this one at the hardware store um, at the Baumarkt in German it's called Baumarkt and it's not that expensive, so it's an easy way to, to, yeah, to have like a little soft play area for the girls. And the good thing is, you just need a, um, a utility knife, and you can cut it. It's very easy. It's um, you don't need to have any special tools for that. And it was a little bit too big for this space, so I needed to cut it down. And yeah, it was very easy. You will just see it. You will just see me doing it in a little bit. I'm going to play some music for you guys now um, because I kind of run out of topics to talk about right now. And um, please leave a comment down below and maybe you have any questions. Um, just ask me uh, any question and I'm going to answer them in my next videos. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away It's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air getting thinner Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment I have more plans for this play kitchen. Maybe I'm going to paint it. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe I'm just going to stain it. And I will, I will like to put a shelf in the middle so there is more um, storage space to put things. And I would like to um, yeah, just do like a few updates so it's a lot more functional for the girls to use. And I bought these uh, flowers and some... Um, um how do you call it a uh, parcel parcel parceling parcel parceling parcel <laughs> sorry petazilia in german <laughs> and i'm going to place that in these two um uh, planters and i'm going to hang these above the table outside i bought these herbs at the grocery store and that's really a inexpensive way to to have like a nice uh, fresh decorations even if they don't last forever um, you can use them and yeah they're really inexpensive and you j can just grab them whenever you go to the grocery store i really love to do that you can even just buy these and put them in a little pot inside of your house maybe on your dining table or on in your kitchen and i think they're really nice decorations 
emotions and even if they don't last forever it's uh, they last longer than fresh cut out flowers in a vase um, but don't get me wrong i do love flowers and i do buy flowers <laughs> okay now i'm going to fill up this um planter and i still need to go and buy a plan for it i'm not quite sure what i'm going to buy maybe you have any ideas leave them down below i would like to have something that it that is a bit bigger and that looks um, kind of nice in the winter. I don't need to be green during the winter, but yeah, maybe I'm going to put another olive tree in it. But if I'm going to put an olive tree in it, I need to um, cover it during the winter. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So please leave a comment down below. I need your help. And yeah, now I'm cleaning up the rest. I'm nearly done cleaning everything and uh, decluttering it and organizing it. Like I said, this shed still needs to be organized and decluttered. Um, this will be in one of my future videos. Okay, so I'm playing one last song and then you will see the final um, before and afters of this entire outside space. So here we are. This is the end of today's video and the after is great. I really love it. I really like it. It's still not perfect. I still have m things to do like, um, yeah, I need to plan more plans and make it a lot nicer. But this is the basic. This is the beginning. I cleared off their entire outdoor space. I removed everything I don't need. I don't want anymore. The only thing that is left to do is make it nicer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you all in one of my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end. Let me know down in the comments if you watched the video until the end. I really would like to know that. And yeah, 
See you in my next video. Tschüss, Freunde.